Spray kiss Oh, there we go, buddy. Come, come, come. Come, come, come. There is a yellow Oreo, the original trash bird. Like a black pole warbler got flew into a web, but an untimely end. Looking out at the Atlantic Ocean. This is a gate for letting the fresh water out from the rice and sugar plantations. There's a Rufus crab eating a crab maybe. Did you get out of the way of the sign? No. <laughs> two point two billion years old rock here. One of the oldest in the world. These are giant bromeliads that are in, endemic to this country here in this kind of habitat and that is the great Francine. Early explorer came in and saw this. Wow. as a boar constrictor. Emerald Trimble. We're waiting for the letter town HR to come up over this little island. That's what we're waiting for. Yeah, oh yeah, I got the eyes shining. Wow. You say he's a gladiator? Gladiator.
beautiful headings that comes down. Oh, good morning, Ringman. There's our back seat contingent. I'm fortunate to be in the front seat because I'm so old and decrepit. This is the main highway in the country. Here is a, the only highway. It goes south from Georgetown all the way to Brazil. That's where we're going to end up. You can see it's not paved, but it's in the process of getting paved. And that's why they work on the sides. Jaguar tracks. There's a bird, a real bird. Black curacao, a yellow bill. Thought you, sir. Seems to like him. Part of being in the tropics. It's a white wing pup, too. There goes Steph. Having fun? Yes. Look, Mom, no hands. No, no, it goes around. Okay. Top of the world up here. Great potu. Looks just like the bark of the tree. Early in the morning. This is Devon, who is our driver, and much more, as you can see. These nests in the middle are oropindola nests. And the nests up above are cassit nests. You're in the best part of the world, the best rainforest that is remaining on the globe. There he is. Crimson crested woodpecker. Sticking his head in the hole. Cleaning up. Here's our room. My room. Bathroom over there. Around the other side is Steph's room. He's got a pink mosquito net. Carrie's looking at the harpy eagle nest. We're waiting patiently for one to show up. There is the harpy eagle nest. So if I didn't see the eagle, I did see the nest. This is a bullet ant. Particularly for roaches. There's a bullet ant, and you don't want to mess with them. So they've got a bite to remember. That's their nest. Leaf-cutting ants going in both directions. 
What a logistical process. But all the leaves are going in one direction. Leaves are going in one direction. Take your leaf over and drop it off and go back for more. <laughs> An obstacle doesn't seem to bother them. Under or over. This is one huge nest. Note how all those little brown things are pieces of leaves that are rejected by the Quality Assurance Department. Keep their home clean too. This is pieces of mud and dirt that they brought out to clean out their nests. I actually see them. Still active there, there they are. Tavon's late a mother who we'll meet later cooked this fantastic lunch for us. We're having out here in this cupola in their front garden. This building is part of this mm -hmm. compound and it's family used it during the day, but it, did he just learn how to do it's this? also available to travelers come or down the highway. Ain't that a hammock? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Huh? came down to the river down below getting our boats ready all right here we are saturday morning and we're gonna show us gary while we're at it casting all that's it what's the name of the river burro 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 donkey donkey <laughs> and we have our official captain back there uh jack sparrow who's about to get the propeller moving Footsteps. We've had a unique experience, as you've seen in, in earlier clips, floating down this wild river in the rainforest here in Guyana, Guyana, uh, however you will, has been remarkable. There's no one around, only wildlife. You feel like you're the first people to have ever visited this area. It's wonderful. Going into the bush. That's a small skull and some bones that were covered under the nest. On the way back up river, we had a fantastic adventure. No harpy eagle, but we did get something which I will show you later. What is that thing that's on there now? Spider. Wow. King Vulture over there yes, with sir. other yes, vultures, okay. mainly. Right. Black Vulture, he's, he's in charge. Because he's the king. King's kicking butt and taking names. There's a picture in the book. Pretty bird, huh? You see the tail, yeah. Excellent. General store, a little bit of everything. A new watch. Cherry juice, watch here. Ketchup, hot pepper sauce. Parmesan cheese. Yes. Salt and pepper. Hey. The Rupakani River on the evening of Sunday, January 26, 2020. There's our village leader <laughs> showing the way. These are Jabiru footprints. 
fix We're off that. early in the morning. We're going into the town and school. There's a nursery school here. Yeah. Canteen for lunch. Here's the primary school. This is Ben from Scotland and his adopted dog, Darby. Julie, Julie's from where? Denmark. 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 <laughs> yeah. yeah. Got a little cricket game going here. We're in the school library now. All these guys are getting ready to guys do some homework. Morning sky. Giselle is on the other side of the river that's right a few hundred feet out there. Wild cotton. Cotton flower. Oh, well, they're the gorgeous. They're just, they're just gorgeous. That's what the oh, look at the seeds. Parakeet eat. You see these seeds there? Uncle Ali is just yeah. demonstrating the. the yeah. Here's the the unripe one. Very hard to get into. And then the shell hardens, and with the bill of the parakeet, they're just open there, rip it open, and access the meal inside, which are these seeds. Here's our intrepid group, having registered onto Wi-Fi and the internet. There's a juvenile king vulture, long way away. Tree and flower. Bees, big bees, big solitary bees. There's a squirrel cuckoo for the trip. That is Sierra Reef. Sacred mountain, big one behind what looks like a volcano. Where the barnyard meets Mother Nature. Looking for the red siskin. Rediscovered in 2003. Population of about 1,500. This is the only place. This is the Wichabai Ranch. Black colored wren. We're going from Guiana to Brazil. Yep, there it is. You're gonna see Steph make an illegal entry here pretty shortly. Let me go first. Ready? Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Going into Brazil. And here we are. Um, departing at 2.15 for the airport. Wish you all the best. Safe journey home. Thank you. This is a harpy eagle feather. It was picked up in the jungle near, right under a harpy eagle nest. And uh, by my, our boatman, Jack Sparrow, who is a, a native of Guyana. And uh, he and our guide, Gary, also a native, both heard the harpy eagle 
I think I may have heard the harpy eagle, but I'm not sure. But I have this feather, a fresh feather. So the harpy eagle was there. I'm reintroducing Gary Sway, our leader and guide for our trip. He's going to show us on the map our uh, itinerary. We started in. Oh, this is Georgetown. Georgetown. The capital city of Guyana. And we took the plane there at the Ogle Airport. And we flew all the way over. The, this is the Demerara over here. We flew over the Demerara River over the Essequibo River, then onwards to the Kaichu National Park, where the Kaichu Falls is found. And then we flew over to the Okramo River Lodge, another protected area, approximately a million acres of rainforest um, put together for protection. We spent two nights there also, lovely forest, birding was great. And then we took the trail from there, which is the dot, dotted line here, highlighting in green, to another lodge, which is also owned by Iwakrama Reserve, but it's run by a company called CATS, Community and Tourism Services. Another good birding spot in Guyana, probably my favorite. And then we headed on from there on to the community of Surama, which is from just over here and highlighted in orange here. We spent, we had three nights here. That's my hometown. That's where I was born and I grew up most of my life. It's a community managed and owned business. It's run by the whole community there. And we do a little bit of everything here. We then proceeded on. We leave the rainforest in this village called Woweta. That's the ending of the rainforest. And that's where the savanna, the Rupununi savanna starts. And we went all the way to Yupakari village. This is uh, Yupakari. It's another community owned lodge by the name of Cayman House, where it was originally set up for Black Cayman research, but now the community have started doing some bit of tourism also. Um, good spot for giant anteaters and a lot of other stuff. Good stuff. We then took the road and further on to Karasabai. We made a sort of a Turn here, right turn, and went on to Karasabai village where we had the sun parakeets. It's the, one of the known spots for sun parakeets at the moment in the country. It's the only village that has these little wonderful treasures um, that still exist in the wild. So we've been there, we were lucky to see them. We then headed on back. We had lunch there and then we headed back to a Manari ranch where we are presently. Um, we had two nights here. But one of the days we took a day trip all the way to, to Sand Creek, this community here, in search of the uh, siskins, the red siskins. Again, it's, there are only a few, the population is very limited and it's found within this area in the southern part of the region more so this area here. We were lucky, we had good, love, lovely looks at the, some males and females, and um, we are lucky to see them. So we then proceeded on to Wichabai, one of the ranch, not too far away from Daranama, which is the main ranch. We had lunch there. We drove all the way back to Manari. It was a very long day for us, and had spent the night there. Now this morning we took the road to Earring River, Takatu River, which is here, not too far from the Earring River, for the hoary throated spine tail and the Rio Branco on board. Again, limited distribution for these birds. They're only found in small areas in the area. We're lucky with the 
Rio Branco and Bird, and we didn't get to see the Hori Chotit, but we heard it, so we know that it's there. Then we came back for lunch at Manari, and here we are, and departing at 2.15 for the airport. Wish you all the best, safe journey home. Thank you.